this is my works WX 390-9 H3 drill now the problem with this drill is that you can see you can hear the motor spin actually but the chuck is not spinning on the drill at all so I have the screws taken out of it in case you run across the same problem this was a um, nice light hammer drill but of course the lightness obviously comes with problems so this is not a very well used drill it's it's actually it was only used um, a small number of times but uh, on the last job it just packed up um, if we take it apart here you can see if I can guess this can come apart if I our deal yeah there we have so now I presume you can see what the problem is the motor is fine that that turns the gear here on the motor is fine but if you look closely here you can see that there are a number of teeth stripped here on this particular gear uh, turn it around here you can see again there is actually uh, one two three teeth at least gone here um the rest of it seems to be fine this gear here our spline and this spline seems to be fine but of course it's just spinning here so it's not able to tur turn this this chuck i was hoping to be able to get uh, this piece here separately uh, quite cheaply on eBay but it's actually turning out quite expensive to order this bit and the postage as as well makes it really not economical so unfortunately this seems like a throwaway drill um, I have been in touch with uh, works on the warranty for this drill and uh, because I couldn't produce this uh, receipt um, this was actually a present uh, that my wife bought me um, they they couldn't cover the warranty or couldn't even consider taking it in under warranty but I was hoping they might have this gear and they could send, uh, send me that but again I think these are basically throw away drills um as i say it was good it was light um it had a fairly powerful impact on it better than my other works uh, the smaller version of this which i use most of the time this one had a much better impact on it for for drilling holes into concrete but obviously this is a weak part of this drill here and that's where it, it, it gave up so if you're having the same issue chuck not turning this is most likely what it is but again you'll probably find that when you go to buy a replacement part for it um, it's just going to cost too much it's not going to be worthwhile doing anything with the drill it's it's basically a, um, a chuck away drill pardon the pun okay so at least you know what the inside of it looks like